practice it, self check 5.10 zero digits, we're asked to write a method called zero digits. So we'll have a public static void zero digits, we'll have our parentheses and then our brackets. We accept an integer as a parameter. So we'll call this int x and we're returning the number of di digits in the number that have the value zero. So we will be returning an int instead of void and then we're just given examples here. We can assume that our integer is non-negative and we should use a do while loop in the solution. First, I'm gonna use a for loop and then show how we can change that to a do while loop. So, because I think for loop is actually easier in this case, but we'll also model it with a do while loop. So the first thing that we're going to do is note that there are different ways to do this problem. I'm going to convert this into a string and then compare all of these characters. So what we're going to do here is have a string uh, and we will call this whole instead of equal to string dot value of and what value of does is it takes any kind of value. So if we were to get the or if we were to have a boolean I think it works with characters um, doubles but it definitely worked with integers so if we use string dot value of and we put in something like we were to use this x right here we're being passed in this number and we have an integer here and we are actually converting our integer into a string so whole is going to store the number 5024036 however whole is going to be the string 5024036. So you can't really divide or add or anything with this whole. It just shows an integer as a string. So now that our integer is stored in the string, we can compare all of the characters in here. We'll have a for loop. We'll have int a is equal to zero and we're running this as long as a is less than whole dot length because we need to compare all of the characters in the whole. So what we're going to do is have an if statement and then we're going to, um, since we are counting how many zeros we have, we actually need a counter variable. So we'll do int count, we'll initialize this to zero and then later after we break out of our for loop we're going to return counts. And the only way count is going to increment is if the current character is equal to zero. So this won't upgrade the count, but this will, this next one will upgrade the count. So in here we'll have an if statement and we'll say if whole dot char at, and so this is the character at, we'll use a because it's incrementing every single time. We'll say a is equal to zero. Um, this will actually give us an error um, because we are trying to compare a character to an integer. So this has to be equals and then the single uh, quotation marks around it, single quotes. Otherwise, um, if we use double quotes, it will also give us an error because then we're trying to compare a character to a string. And then in this if statement, we will have a count plus plus. That way we increment every single time if our character at this certain um, integer is equal to the character of zero. So we have an issue with here. This O needs to be capitalized in string dot of, and this needs to be spelled better. And if we submit this, we see that we've passed all of these tests. So we can do this with a for loop. We can also do it with a do while loop. What we're going to do is take this part. So this is actually a good way to show how to convert a for loop to a while loop or a do while loop. So we're gonna take out this first part and paste it right above our loop. We're gonna change this to do, and then we are going to move this a plus plus into our loop as the last thing like this. And then lastly, we are going to take these parentheses, cut them, put while right here, and paste this down here. And move that semicolon to the outside, and we can submit this, and see that we still pass the test exactly. There is a more math way to do this. I just like converting it to a string for this particular problem. And that is how we do this. 
uh, previously with a for loop, now with a do while loop in this part of our code.